Hey guys, um, I just woke up like freaking one hour ago and uh, I remember and just posted this link to the developer update the, for the PTB for the upcoming uh, patch for Dead by Daylight. So I guess we'll just take a look through. I was thinking that we can just take a look through it and just see how it goes. Pray to God that this was already is going to be something good. I saw some of it, so <clears throat> yeah. Also, I haven't had breakfast with this, so let's just get through this quick. So, what we got first? Future patch optimization plans. Oh yeah, yeah, I, I saw this. This is, this is the whole thing about how if you don't have like a SSD or something, and every time you download like a 50 MB update, the game basically fucking re-downloads itself. So now like this basically explains why. To keep it simple, the game is split up into small chunks, and you only need to download chunks rather than change the whole game. The problem, the game has grown, and there's more chunks, blah 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 blah, so it takes fucking 3 years. But I guess for now, it seems like they're only doing this for Steam, so it doesn't matter too much to me because I have an SSD, but I guess this would be way better in general for everyone involved. So cool. Picking behavior, finally doing something, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Anyways, so the next one we have... Oh, is this? Matchmaking optimization plans. So, let's see, they want to be transparent. Um, an influx of new players. Wow, they finally have a reason to fucking rebalance their shit. Alright, let me get a quick sip of water because my throat's getting dry. And you guys can read this, I guess. For a bit. Hold on, let me take a sip. Alright, anyways, so we've got the water now. I still need to get my coffee, but hey, let's just get this done. So, first things first, we got backfill improvements. Uh, matchmaking is to find a replacement backfill. It quickly have favors a quick replacement rather than a quality one. This is actually good because um I can't tell I can't tell you the amount of times that either you play as a killer where the survivor like, this one survivor does something stupid and then they fucking DC simply because like they just, they just, it just didn't work, I guess. And other times, people just DC because, you know, the actual unfortunate uh, my Wi-Fi died kind of incident. Or like my case the other day where the server just died for whatever reason. I don't know why I couldn't connect. So that's good. <clears throat> so they're making adjustments to disconnection handling. That's good. That's good. So it doesn't fuck up over your freaking um, match MMR or something. Extended breaks, the rating does not change. This is not ideal. Okay. I guess I just gonna readjust the rating if someone hasn't played for like three years or something. So what's a general problem? The game will detect which server you have the best connection to and match you to other players who are close to their server. It works well enough, but if you are right in between two servers, you'll be matched with only one set of players. <clears throat> ah, okay. So basically... Awesome matchmaking. Okay, cool. Solo survival experience, aka the pain train. Anyways, so let's see. Premade group has blah 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 blah. As skill goes up, so does the gap between solo survivors and premade groups. Oh yeah, most definitely. I wouldn't be playing like survivor if I wasn't playing with Remrin. I'd, I'd rather just play killer and just meme around it, turn off my freaking sound rather than play freaking solo survivor. So what? I guess they're looking into striking. Tricking a balance between soul players and a part of the team. So what are they experimenting with? A status icon between each survivor's portrait to let them know what they're doing. You know what's the sad part about this? It's good that they're working on solo survivors, but at the same time, that just makes it like... <laughs> we're, we're killer buff, you know? We're, we're killer buff. Beta... Beta stab. Okay. What is this? Oh, beta. Beta for upcoming feature that you can join, okay. You'll be rewarded with extra BP. Unlike PTB, the betas are available on console. Wow, pop. Console players rejoice. Oh yeah, I, I've heard of this from yesterday. Apparently, uh, this wiggle update. So rather than having to mash AD, it's, like it's, it's basically just going to be a skill check. Hitting a skill check will cause the successfully to switch direction, gradually fill your wiggle meter and your blah 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 blah. I'm assuming missing just doesn't make the wiggling as bad and you don't fill up the bar, yeah? That's nice actually, this is a nice update. Is that all we seen? 
That is interesting. This is actually rather short. This is January the 3rd. This was yesterday, right? Uh, toggle interactions. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This would be great, though. So I don't... I can, like, just repair gens without having to, like, hold a single button. That would be freaking amazing. I, basically, I... Like, I guess as a survivor, I just don't want to, like, hold one button for a long period of time because it gets... It, it just... It just be like that. But that's nice, though. I mean, having toggle would be really nice for both sides, I think. But mostly, probably survivor side. It's, it's mostly survivor side. But yeah, um, that was a surprisingly short developer discussion. Huh. But this is just a short amount of what we are going to get during the PTB. So I guess I'll make uh, another video. Uh, just... I guess on the actual PTB itself when the when the freaking PTB comes out. I don't think I'll be playing the PTB because I'll be busy with Genshin, but yeah. So what do we get from this? Um well behavior is doing something again, which is really good. Fucking finally, am I right? Uh yeah. Matchmaking, patch optimization, a lot of really good quality of life stuff. As um what some people would say, this is what we want to call the uh, the, the Operation Health Check update, where instead of releasing new content, you they actually work on mostly just fixing the game and doing some balancing and all that stuff. So that, that's really good. So yeah. Uh, okay. I, I, I guess that's it for the video. For the video. I'm, I'm just gonna go make breakfast. This is, I'm just waiting for like Wednesday at this point. Alright, see you chat.